Hello everyone. So, we will continue with the moisture vapor transmission measurement. So, earlier we have uh, measured, we have uh, discussed uh, several methods of uh, measuring the moisture transmission through textile material. And now we will uh, discuss the method which is sweating guarded hot plate. So, this uh, the same instrument which we have discussed earlier the principle is same which is guarded hot plate and let us try to see once again the principle of guarded hot plate. The principle here we have to control the heat flow through the hot plate. So, that heat is not only the heat flowing through the fabric is measured. Okay. So, this is the normal case normal plate it is a side view it is a top view fabric is placed on the plate test plate and test plate is connected with the power source and as soon as it can switch is turned on the heat will start flowing at different directions. So, when heat that that means what we actually want to measure the heat flow through the fabric. So, for that the to restrict the heat flow other direction that side way and bottom way we have to use some guard ring we have to use some insulator. So, this is the top view and this is a side view of the test plate this is the insulator guard ring is placed and this is the bottom plate fabric is placed over that. So, though both the guard ring and bottom plate okay, and test plate they are heated at the same temperature. So, that no temperature gradient is there and so that the heat is transmitted only through the test plate and fabric sample and accordingly we can measure the heat transmission. Okay. But in sweating guarded hot plate the principle of measurement of heat transmission remains same and in addition to that here the water is being supplied and the plate here it is not the same uh, similar plate here the plate is a perforated plate. So, it has to actually it, it uh, simulates the sweating the principle remains same. So, the sweating gutted hot plate here it measures the evaporative heat loss in the steady state condition in guarded hot plate it measures the the thermal transmission heat heat transmission okay. here evaporative heat loss is measured. So, when the moisture gets transmitted how much heat it is taking away. So, that will give the idea about the the moisture transmission the temperature of the guarded hot plate it is kept at skin temperature which is very important. So, that has to be kept constant here the water vapor resistance the total water vapor resistance is calculated. So, that this R E T it is water vapor resistance it including the air layer fabric layer and air layer it is actually expressed in terms of meter square Pascal per watt. So, that means, the in terms of in terms of heat transmission it is measure this is the equation where A is the area and P m is the saturated water vapor partial water vapor pressure of the measuring unit. That means, measuring unit is the saturated condition that water vapor is P m and P a is the partial water vapor pressure of the atmosphere. 
So, this is the water vapor pressure difference and H is the amount of heat supplied for evaporation that is the H and delta H is the correction factor of the and R E T 0 is the evaporative constant of the instrument. So, this is the total uh, system distilled water level is there is a, that a dosing unit is there dosing device is there it is actually depth is adjusted 1 millimeter below the test plate that 1 millimeter it will be actually the test plate width will automatically siphon okay, that length it is otherwise if it is not kept below that that means it will be flooded that test plate we do not need the test plate to be flooded only the moisture in vapor form will should get transmitted. The porous membrane is covered the test plate because test plate sometimes if it gets wet the fabric should not get wet. The, that membrane should be porous because it should simulate the skin that is a moisture in vapor form it should come out and over the porous plate the fabric sample to be tested is placed. Water droplet Coming, coming out of the plate should be just enough to keep the porous membrane with moisture. It should not wet, the fabric should not get wet. The resistance of water vapor that is evaporative resistance is calculated based on this equation that we have already seen this equation where Q the R E T is the evaporative resistance of the fabric provided by the liquid barrier along with the air. So, R it, this is the evaporative resistance of fabric along with the air and P s is the saturated vapor pressure of the skin that is the saturated vapor pressure. P a is the atmospheric vapor pressure, ambient vapor pressure, R t is the thermal resistance. This is the thermal resistance of the it also measures the thermal resistance here and therefore, R s minus T s by R t is a dry heat loss. So, it is actually the dry heat loss and here it is a the wet heat loss, it is a the total heat loss here. Okay. So, here we if we uh, total heat loss and if we measure if we subtract from the, the total heat loss, it is the heat loss due to the for heat loss for the evaporation. So, total, so, that total evaporative heat loss is this one and by the, the pressure difference is there and intrinsic heat loss we can uh, evaporative resistance we can measure by subtracting the heat uh, the res evaporative resistance of the air layer and permeability index we can measure by the dry resistance by the wet resistance R C T which is a dry thermal resistance and R E T is the evaporative thermal resistance. So, the ratio gives the permeability index of the vapor. So, we can get the evaporative resistance of uh, the fabric as well as the permeability index and K is the constant for that. So, that dry heat loss we can measure in dry state. So, for to have this data the actual the evaporative resistance of fabric we have to test two times. One is the bare plate testing has to be done to know the moisture vapor transmission of the air and we have to test the in the dry condition to know the dry resistance of the fabric dry heat loss of the fabric. So, that we have to, uh, we should do uh, repeated testing. Next instrument is that the uh, Parma test. It is a if we want to know the moisture transmission at very fast rate. So, this instrument gives the result at very fast at faster rate. Other instrument we have seen it takes time. So, cup method and all this because it is a so here this method it gives the moisture transmission at a higher faster rate. The, it works on the principle of heat flux sensing that means, as the moisture gets transmitted it takes away the heat 
that heat flux is measured. Okay. That means, the temperature of the measuring head is maintained at 35 degree Celsius. The heat supplied to maintain that temperature. So, that means, as soon as the moisture gets transmitted, moisture gets evaporated through the fabric, it takes away the heat of that system from the system. To maintain that temperature, that means, temperature is dropped. So, to maintain the temperature of 35 degree Celsius, the system will draw the excess heat. That heat is actually indirectly it is used for evaporation. So, that is how it is indirectly measuring the, the heat supplied to maintain the temperature of the measuring head with and without fabric is measured. So, that ratio will give us the idea that means, relative water vapor permeability is the heat loss when the fabric is placed on the measuring head and heat loss when the there is no fabric, but water will be there. This is the system where the instrument works under principle of heat flux sensing. So, let us see the principle machine this is the wire mesh okay, and plastic ring and this wire mesh is there and above which the fabric specimen is there. This is the top view, this is the side view and water film is placed here, okay. water film is there. So, as soon as the, it is uh, the heated it will the it will evaporate water present in this place this place will get evaporated and the temperature of this total system will drop. To maintain this temperature the this will actually this is the heat flow sensor. So, the to maintain the temperature the, the it will draw extra heat from the heater and that extra heat is actually measured by the heat flow sensor. So, that is the quantity of heat heat flux the temperature of the measuring head is maintained at isothermal condition which is 35 degree Celsius. When the water evaporated evaporates from the measuring head the heat loss from it is measured indirectly by heat sensor and heat loss by the bare plate and covered with the fabric both are taken and the ratio is actually measured. So, this is the way of expression okay. R E T is the water vapor resistance. Okay. If we measure the and relative water vapor permeability is the heat loss from the measuring head and heat loss from the without fabric with fabric and without fabric. So, this, this way we can measure the um, permeability characteristics or water vapor permeability characteristics and water vapor resistance. And last segment of this which is the moisture sensing of the clothing. So, moisture sensation is extremely important and it is directly affect the comfort okay. and the accumulation of moisture on the skin and within the clothing layer is the primary reason of discomfort. And this problem is intensified further particularly in functional cloth clothing, because when we need comfort as well as the function and most of the functional clothing are covered with the outer layer which is basically coated. So, in that case moisture vapor permeability is uh, restricted. Okay, it does not flow free flow is not there. So, this problem is intensified in functional clothing because this sort of clothing is frequently used under stressful environment in which moisture accumulation in the skin and within the clothing layer is there and contributes to the wearer discomfort. So, sensation of moisture comfort moisture inside the microclimate is extremely important and 
the transmission characteristics we have to understand clearly transmission in the form of uh, liquid moisture and in the form of vapor moisture, moisture in vapor form and and it is actually uh, sensation of moisture can be expressed either in terms of absolute threshold or differential threshold. So, that is that uh, it is psychologically we can get uh, some uh, sensation and this all these sensations are related with the transmission characteristics. If we can control the transmission characteristics properly, we can get comfort okay. and so clear understanding of moisture management characteristics is very important, very essential to achieve the clothing comfort. It is very important. So, to, if we want to achieve the clothing comfort, so we have to understand the moisture transmission characteristics, how to manage the moisture within the textile material. And with that, we will end this session of moisture related comfort. Thank you.